What's going on YouTube? JT is born here and welcome back to another edition of my DC comic book reviews and in this video I'm going to be talking about the Nightwing 2022 annual. That's right, this is our annual issue. Uh, it's basically just an extra issue you get during the year. That's typically what annual issues are. They're usually a lot longer. Sometimes they have other stories that are kind of set in more in the past. Uh, sometimes you have annuals that are just the big conclusion to story arcs. It all depends on what the writers are doing with the annuals. But this is the 2022 annual. And uh, let's go ahead and talk about it. This one's written by Tom Taylor and a few other people. There's actually three stories sprinkled in throughout this series. There's the one main storyline, which finally gives us the backstory of the villain Heartless which has been a storyline that's been going on for quite a while. Actually, the identity of Heartless did kind of surprise me because if you remember back in Nightwing issue 78, remember that douche nozzle that Dick Grayson gets into a fight with when he was young, a young kid? Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually that guy. And uh, we also meet his butler. Basically, this villain was actually there the day Dick Grayson's parents died. He's just a complete psychopath and uh they bit his butler too so he's a rich kid so gerald chamberlain uh it's actually not this guy uh this guy who stole this gerald chamberlain's uh identity like decided to live in this as this butler for this rich family and when they were going to die he was like i'm going to inherit all your money but then he meets shelton and shelton is a sociopath and he's killing animals and doing all sorts of big mean nasty things and when dick grayson he was kind of a mute didn't really talk to anybody and then the moment he saw the flying graysons die he laughed about it he was a maniacal six twisted son of a bitch and he was so enthusiastic and excited he's like yeah I remember when they died so this kid has no redeeming qualities like these are two but they actually kind of form like a special bond this feels like a almost like a Rob Zombie-esque thing, if that makes sense, with the complete sociopaths kind of getting along and becoming besties. Uh, that's kind of like the case with this one, and then he kind of changed a little bit after he got the shit kicked out of him by Dick Grayson, and then he got into an accident, and then he started getting little organ replacements and stuff, and he became the villain known as Heartless. And, uh, yeah, complete psycho. He's got all, now he's got Blockbuster's heart and he's ready to kill some people. So yeah, that was a, that was an interesting backstory for the villain. Not really what I was expecting, but I like that it actually tied back into something that was set like way, way a long time ago. Cause this heartless run has been going on a really long time. I'm glad we actually got the backstory of this character, even though I've complained time and time again, like, is this heartless storyline ever going to end? Because it feels like it starts, then it stops again. But finally we got some backstory. It's that douche nozzle from way back when. And uh, there you go. That's the story. Uh, next up is Dick Grayson's apartment in Bloodhaven, night out. So Dick and Babs are going on a date night. And he's like, well, I was going to stay in with Haley. And then she sends him a picture of what she was wearing underneath her overcoat. So she was probably sending some lingerie-esque photos. He's like, okay, I'm going to tap that later on. Sorry, Haley. You're going to have to be uh, here in the house by yourself. And then I guess this is all told from inside the mind of Haley the dog, which we've kind of already had Haley the dog talking thanks to Nightmite in uh, the previous issue of Nightwing uh, before the annual. Uh, Dick and Babs go and do their thing, and then they're ultimately rescued by Haley the dog, who's got all this stuff being super heroic and stopping villains, and basically it's, it's, it's kind of a pointless story, all things considered, but it's just kind of a fun one. You like dogs. You want to see a dog imagining being a superhero, and that's basically it in a nutshell. So Haley's a happy-go-lucky dog. And then the third story is uh, The Lesson, written by C.S. Pacat, and then uh, Inaki Miranda is the art. Uh, basically, this one is set around Superman, Son of Kal-El, issue number nine. And in this issue, Dick Grayson is basically teaching John how to fight more properly. Uh, John's feeling guilty over accidentally hurting somebody severely and he wants to uh learn to be a little bit better and that's where this thing comes into to play it also mirrors dick as uh a young robin and bruce being really stern and angry and aggressive like there's no time for failure you you can't trust anyone blah 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 so he's taking the lessons bruce had it, it kind of paints bruce in a bit of a a little bit of a psychotic light if i do say so for myself but i like the fact that he's mentoring john and trying to train him but he's taking the lessons he learned and kind of flipping them on his head so it really sets batman as kind of this bad mentor and in some ways yeah batman can be kind of bad but it really paints him in a bit of a negative light but all things considered I actually liked the annual quite a bit. Uh, in fact, I think I liked it more than the last couple issues of the main Nightwing series. Well, I mean, it's still set in the main Nightwing series, but I like this issue a lot more than the last couple of issues I've been reading. So, uh, yeah, I think this is a solid read. Uh, I think, too, because it's a lot longer, you have more time to kind of, like, read the story rather than having to stop at various parts and stuff. So, I think, uh, all things considered, I think they did pretty well with the uh, annual for Nightwing. So, there you go. Those are my quick thoughts on it. Artwork is pretty good. Uh, there's 
the two other stories maybe not as impactful as the main one but you know they're fine all things considered i didn't hate them or anything like that you, you kind of have to go in with a little bit of a different mindset sometimes with the annuals because you're going to get something that's a little bit different than what's been going on with the the series uh up to this point so there you go uh after this i'm going to talk about the back girls annual and then i'll finish off hopefully later on tonight with a video on the uh detective comics one so look forward to all that stuff uh, post your comments down below like this video share it with your friends subscribe to the youtube channel for more content I look forward to all that other stuff and uh yeah that's always gonna say that's all i'm gonna say right now so uh look forward to the next video take care now bye bye then